Hello and thank you very much for clicking on this video. I will demonstrate two peripherals that you can use with DEX. They, I, when I found them, I, it felt that I definitely need to have a go and see how they're performing and obviously share my experience with you guys. I just don't know where I put them. Oh, right. This is the keyboard and this is the mouse. Shall we start? So, keyboard and mouse, and this is the, the mouse, and this is the keyboard. Uh, they take very small amount of space, uh, like, a, like you saw, I can put them in my, in, my, in my jeans pockets. And the mouse, I believe is called Logitech Ultra Thin Touch Mouse. The service is very slippery, so it's very comfortable for you to use your finger to initiate touch um, Touch functionality, for example, like if you're sliding up and down, it initiates a scrolling. It's similar to Apple Magic Mouse. It doesn't have any clickable buttons at the top, but what it has, the bottom bit moves and, and it acts like a left and right mouse button click. One good feature that this mouse has, um, it supports dual Bluetooth connectivity. Well, sorry, it supports two Bluetooth devices to be synced to this mouse at one time. So as is my case, I am, Connection one is for my Galaxy Tab, uh, for Galaxy Note, and connection two is for my Galaxy Tab S6. It's chargeable via micro B, and pretty much that's it. So it's on off switch, and you can use it with with the um, with the devices. And another thing is called iClever foldable keyboard with the uh, magnetic magnetic sort of like a tripod like sort of thing stand for you to put your phone in it and obviously use it as, as a stand or you can put your tablet in here and I will demonstrate for you how it fits my Galaxy Tab S6 and when you unfold that's what you get you have a miniature size keyboard for you to use on a go it's chargeable via USB type B it has on off button and what this keyboard has the Apart from what others that I tested had, um, it supports up to three different Bluetooth devices to be connected. So if you look on this side here, it gives like LED indicator saying Bluetooth 1, 2, and 3. So uh, let's get this all connected and see how it's going. Is this In this example, I'm going to use my standard, the, the USB Type-C hub. But for example, this kind of setup could be useful if you're going somewhere and you know you're going to have a monitor and here's my cable but not the peripherals. Then you can grab something like this, my USB type C to uh, USB, HDMI and power delivery, or just something like that, which is just USB type C to two HDMI um, outputs, which one of them you can use as the HDMI signal. And you can use your DAC setup on the go with the peripherals that literally you can fit them in your pocket without no problems at all. So it goes, it goes in the pocket very easily and Literally, that's, that's, that's the size. And the mouse, uh, let's compare this with the front bit. As you can see, against my Note 9, the front of the mouse is actually thinner than my Note 9. Obviously, the back is much thicker. But it's, it is very, very small. And actually, when I started using that mouse for the first couple of hours, it felt like weird. And I couldn't get used to it, how to use it. And it was very, very strange. I felt like I have nothing in my hand. And suddenly, it's just somehow is working. So now I need to get my, my setup connected because I got the HDMI cable disconnected. I was testing something else here, uh, which I will hope I will post this video very soon. So this is here. Let's move the mouse. It does, does nothing. So let's get the, uh, my Note 9 connected to this USB-C hub that I have here. So that's connected. Very good. Keyboard detects that I have the uh, the Note 9 connected. I just bingo. Something text is starting. Actually, let's pull the monitor this way. So obviously, right now I have this mouse, and let's turn this on. I do believe I should have two mouse pointers showing up. Come on, where are you? Do I have? Here you go. So. This is the mouse right now I'm going to use. As you can see, if I move the on the on the top of my palm, the the arrow is moving around. And like I said, it felt very weird to use this mouse initially. 
first couple hours was like something is wrong and it felt that I can't really use this because it felt just it's not for me but let's say when compared to the mouse that I'm using Logitech just a standard Logitech USB wired mouse this is like two thirds so one third smaller and obviously when you look at and compare it to a thickness in the way it's actually hold on here you go um, it is it is really really small and like I said in the first couple of um, usage like a couple of hours I felt very weird to using this but after after a couple of let's say after first couple hours of test driving I got used to this mouse and right now I can use it without any problems at all I'm just wondering why my my resolution do wanna do wanna display resolution let's go to max there you go 3440 by 1440p come on actually still not showing the full resolution why what gives this is weird uh, I'm play, pressing the left mouse button and it doesn't have any any clickable noise I mean you're not getting any click um, feel it's literally just touch and it feels like you're pressing thin air nothing and, and, and it just initiates I'm just noticing these black bars I, I need to check why I'm getting not actual full screen of this um, use uh, of this desk anyway so mouse works fine let's get the keyboard keyboard um, it's a slightly different story uh, compared to the previous one I used it's actually smaller than the previous I had and because of that and my fat fingers I can't really press all the buttons comfortably and I'm always mistyping as example um, if I will find something that I can use as the as the pointer hold on hold on hold on do I have anything around me come on really I thought I had let me use this one right so comma dot and accept a question mark these three buttons these three buttons is really small and I can literally cover as you can see with one finger both of them so typing in this case with this keyboard is I'm struggling quite a lot to getting up to a speed that I want to type and another thing what is bugs me about this keyboard for example if you want to write the word don't so uh, and you know there is this that symbol which I'll demonstrate for you now because I can't remember what the symbol name is so doc okay okay word okay so if I go to come on Google I thought I had that here here you go docs so let's run docs so open up this and on the keyboard there is a button this as you right let me increase the increase the uh, there you go this but this symbol I hope the camera can pick it up so when you're writing don't don't can't it's and I will or I'll I misspelled so you need to type this symbol and when you're typing quite fast uh, it's, it's very easy to use this kind of file this keyboard layout because on the one button press and it's, it's adds this symbol without any problems oops there you go but the problem with this keyboard this button is actually here where L is and this button of this symbol only will work when you press function so what that is you need to, when you pri uh, printing or sorry when you're typing word don't you can't and etc not just pressing one button uh, but you need to press function as well so it adds extra step uh, necessary step on other keyboards compared to other keyboards so this yes you you can use it obviously for your for your um, for your travel and whatnot I'm just quickly gonna connect to a Bluetooth 2 and see is it Bluetooth 2 or Bluetooth 1 I can't remember come on I think I connected to here you go so that's keyboard is connected now so obviously yes you can type and uh, without any problems but what I would suggest um, D letter D somehow got stuck on the screen so if I type can't function L T oops misspelled okay can't function LT so 
in, like this way it's not all if I tap on a normal keyboard that's it just if I type here don't and now I need to type don't function LT it's it's, it's extra steps and I think this is really really decrease your speed typing speed compared to just a normal layout keyboard a number of things um what just just as a walkthrough uh, we have all the F1 to F11 and F12 is here so tab is actually F12 so you press F function tab and it initiates F12 escape there's escape key there's a brightness up and down home multitasking back uh, back for uh, play back play play pause fast forward uh, audio up and down if I press function and these I do get the the audio up and down going here as you can see no problems at all and obviously function backspace acts as a delete and the, and you have um, home and um, or home power page up page down etc one thing if you press function and alt these lights gonna start flashing so if all three is flashing it means you have 100% battery life on this if two is flashing so basically 100 divided by three so it's like you use like 33 ish percent of the battery so it's a bit um you need to guess roughly how much you have but from uh, my understanding from what i read online this keyboard is going to last you quite a long time because it's just uh, so small and, and easy to use so this is basically the the typing obviously as a previous keyboards this keyboard supports connectivity to ios android and windows but i don't really know which uh, which connectivity option i do have activated it just just works so that's fine if i change to for example a ios i do get the similar similar ways and uh, i do get the start button and etc working so it is I, I think whatever option you will choose is it I, ios android or windows is going to work pretty well with your setup and i still can get my hand uh, my head around it how it fits all in this kind of uh, size and it fits in my pocket plus the mouse is combined together and it's uh it's a portable 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 uh setup for you let's get my monitor back and as example if i take my phone out so phone keyboard and a mouse and well technically if i need i need to take the usb type c dongle just to go uh, and, and use this on a go what i like to demonstrate next with this kind of the keyboard um is the 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 uh the legs to put this on so if I expand the legs out, so keyboard is right now set up. So if I grab my S9, oh sorry, Note 9, put in here, and you go. This is the uh, this fits perfectly. Actually, can I can I can I take this one? Here you go. So fits perfectly. Let me open up. Trying to do this without dropping, and this is kind of a setup you will get on the desk with the Note 9 or your Galaxy phone or whatever pixel goes in there so with the pixel i can easy now i can move a bit more easily because if i drop pixel it doesn't really care so you go this is the 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 setup with the pixel um the, oops i'm glad this keyboard is made by the way of metal or metalish plastic but it feels very steady i dropped it and it's nothing happened right my tablet tab s6 so what if i'm gonna put this one in here so put it here get the legs a bit wider and here you go i do have this so if i take this this is how uh it's it's locks and holes obviously i don't want to move around just in case i will drop the keyboard again but pretty much if i get the tablet opened connect i do believe my my tablet is connected to a function one or the um uh, the uh, iOS or Bluetooth connection one. No, it's uh, Bluetooth connection two. So let's connect to Bluetooth connection two. So if I type Reddit, press enter. So that's going, turning. Uh, let's connect to Bluetooth two on the mouse. Mouse is, uh, mouse should connect. Come on. There you go, mouse is working. So I do have a deck set up uh, with the keyboard and mouse. Obviously, this is not really a good use for me because I do own the Samsung on official keyboard cover case and doesn't really this makes any sense for me to use. But if you have, for example, Galaxy Tab S4 or S5e with DeX 
and this kind of a mouse and keyboard will be very useful for you to to use this uh, on the go so if i open up and we go to ego i opening the uh, reddit website let's go inside reddit let's go into samsung dex subreddit group and here you go i scrolling up and down with the mouse to read through um the 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 post what what you lovely people are posting on on this subreddit group and this is kind of set up get the tablet get the keyboard let's say if you have tab s4 and get the mouse and this is your dex on the go setup with a compatible uh tablet i think i mentioned everything um obviously another thing if you're still watching the box that's the box that came in nothing special that's where the ta uh, keyboard was in it comes with the uh reading manual um customer feedback card and micro b to usb a cable for you to charge the keyboard but it's basically uh, it's USB Type-B, so you probably have thousands of these cables by now. And I think it costs about £20 in here in UK on Amazon. Uh, and it is just a standard Chinese keyboard that pretty much, if you look on AliExpress or something similar, similar physical form, you will find quite a lot of them with the different names. This one is called iClever. And obviously the Logitech Thin. Uh, ultra thin touchable mouse right i think that's that's what i wanted to to demonstrate for you guys thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video and i'll see you in the near future with a new one thank you and goodbye